So it's quite the adventure. There are friggin' crocodiles in this river. What better way to kill time than a little bit of beer? We don't really know what's happening. Is that dog or monkeys? The monkeys. Oh, I love this country. Chocolate cake for breakfast. Here we go. Another stop on this wild adventure to find out if it's worth even scuba diving here in Costa Rica because today has been wild. We're Hayden and Aaron, and we're on a mission to visit every country in the world. Along the way, we plan to scuba dive in as many of them as we can. Today, we're in Costa Rica, our eighth country. Well, Costa Rica is on the coast and it's known for its beautiful beaches, it isn't exactly a diving destination. So we're seeking out one of the best diving spots here in Costa Rica, Isla del Caño. But it's not going to be easy to get there. So today we're going to find out if it is worth diving in Costa Rica. Now that we have our trusty steed all loaded up, let's hit the road. So it's quite the trek to get to Pike Bay. We are currently in Capos in the Manuel Antonio area. We got to drive to Sierpe. That is our next destination. It should take us about two hours. We're going to stop for some lunch on the way. Let's go. chocolate so the top is like really thick and then it goes into like a chocolate cake yum oh this is dangerous yum yum yeah so we just ordered veggie burritos nothing overly exciting it's got veggies <laughs> like broccoli and stuff in here rice and beans looks really good we've got really amazing potato wedges Crispy, super good. Hmm. Nothing overly exciting, but it's gonna be filling for the rest of our drive. So we're back on the road. We have another hour or so to Sierpe, and what we haven't told you yet is the next leg of transportation which is a river boat. So not only did we have to rent a car and drive two to three hours, now we have to get on a river boat and head down river for an hour to get to Drake Bay. Wild. <laughs> it's, it's quite the adventure. Diving better be good. to Sierpe. We've made it to the restaurant that we're gonna get on the boat to. So we basically just need to pull of our stuff out. Erin's gonna go park the car and we're getting on the boat. It's raining. And then we head down the river. I don't know. We don't really know what's happening. We've made it here to the boat stop and of course we got a little bit of time so what better way to kill time than a little bit of beer. There are friggin' crocodiles in this river, that's for sure. There's fast moving things coming down here and we're about to all pile into a little boat and head down the river for about an hour until we hit the ocean. From the ocean, we're getting out of the boat 
from the beach, or so we've been told. I'm not entirely sure. Again, we don't really know what's happening. We're just on this crazy adventure. So we're getting on the boat, here we go. monkeys. They're monkeys. <sighs> I love this country. Anyway, we just got here at our hotel. Just checked in. We're at Hotel Margarita in Drake Bay and we just snagged a room upgrade. So we always love when that happens, but let's jump in and see what we got. So this is Hayden's bed, the smaller one. No, it's not. Um, I get the big one. No. Uh, no, it's kind of a kind of an interesting layout you know the the normally when you hear double bed you think the smaller beds not two beds in one but uh you know in case I get too loud snoring at night or you know have a couple too many drinks and we get in a disagreement one of us can sleep on one bed one can sleep on the other but we're just here for one night so honestly like couldn't have asked for can't ask for more than this so uh we're gonna go find some cervezas so we located a couple of beers and we <laughs> just got back to the room and as you can see the power is out again just another another stop on this wild adventure to find out if it's worth even scuba diving here in costa rica because today has been wild so we are uh Here's Aaron coming out of the bathroom. He doesn't even, <laughs> he's in there like the power goes out. So we're gonna go to bed. Hopefully the power comes back on, but we'll never know. We'll see you tomorrow. See, see ya. ya. Good morning. We're just finishing up our breakfast. We got a little bit of tea. We woke up early this morning because it's finally the day. We're getting out on the boat. We've had a 25 day surface interval, which means we've been out of the water for 25 days. So we're changing that today. And we're about to head down to the beach where we're getting on the boat to take the boat all the way out to Isla del Caño. Let's do it.
That was so awesome! That was absolutely a blast. I can't believe all of the wildlife we got to see down there. We saw sharks! sharks. We saw shark, white tip sharks, and like many of them too. Not just one, not just two, but many of them. And they were friggin' adorable. I love them. <laughs> and just like all the all the new fish I get to ID. And this is our very first Pacific uh, Ocean dive. So there's fish that look familiar, but they're different than what we're used to. So overall really cool we saw a bunch of really neat like major schools of fish and everything and just anyway needless to say this was worth it the trek out here was totally worth it absolutely worth it and you know what we ended up seeing that we didn't know we saw a frog, a frog fish. fish we've been looking for frog fish for 65 dives now and we saw one and we didn't even know what it was our we, guide pointed at it. And we may or may not even have it on camera. She was pointing at something. We were and like, I was like, I don't know cool what you're coral. looking at. <laughs> so we saw a frogfish, which was freaking amazing. So anyway, everything was great. Now we're going to eat a little bit of lunch. Let's go. We ate some food and took the boat back up the river to Sierpe to start the long journey back to Capos. We arrived safely back <laughs> from that boat ride and we were handed a very fresh coconut and it's been chilled so it's nice and cold. <laughs> but it's good. It's fresh, obviously. Ugh. <laughs> Wow, that's way better than the black yeah, stuff. You know, you yeah, I don't don't normally like coconut water too, so it's actually really good. In the end, the diving was definitely worth the long journey. You've been struck by a smooth criminal. Oh, I'm so sunburned. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Yeah, you're, uh, you're pretty pink over there. Then I can't punch you. You're too far away. I can't smack you around in the middle of the that's, night if you're snoring. That's true, so... Oh. Yeah, but not too many, because... Uh, yeah, we have to be up at 7 at... Well, we have to be... Go ahead. What was that? I was just going to be like, this one here is all about the let's start doing our day super early in the morning. So we have to be ready to board a boat at 7 a.m. This tomorrow. has nothing to do with me. This is what I was told. Like, this is the plan. <laughs> it has nothing to do with me. Goodbye. I was sitting here just kind of staring off in the distance, and I saw this sign of a turtle standing there holding a Viagra. And I started looking at it and trying to figure it out. And, you know, again, my Spanish isn't all that great. And I was like, I'm pretty sure the sign is telling me that his eggs are not part of the solution, meaning, you know, people consume turtle eggs thinking they're an aphrodisiac. And then I started giggling and Hayden was like, what are you laughing at? I was like, look at that sign. Tell me if it, it's saying what I think it is. And sure enough, it's a turtle wearing flip-flops holding a Viagra saying, basically, don't eat my eggs, asshole. 